With every AI leap comes the same question. Will it take over our jobs? This time, the chief of the International Monetary Fund has weighed in, and she says, yes, AI will affect the job market. In fact, she painted a more worrying picture. The IMF chief said AI will hit the job market like a tsunami. Interesting choice of words. A tsunami destroys everything. It wipes out buildings and people. Is that what AI will do to the job market? Well, the IMF chief had some numbers. In the next two years, AI could affect 60%, 60% jobs in the developed world and overall 40% worldwide. Now, these numbers are worrying, not just because of how high they are, but also because of the time frame, two years. It's hardly any time in the job market. So we need to prepare fast. Listen to what the IMF chief has said, I'm quoting, we have very little time to get people and businesses ready for it. AI can boost how much we produce and make things more efficient, but it also might increase false information and make income gaps wider. That's what she said. There are three points or takeaways from this. First of all, it's not all bad. The IMF says 60% jobs will be affected, but affected does not mean replaced. In half of these cases, AI will improve your productivity. It will make your job easier. And not to mention, create new jobs. The AI revolution will generate over 97 million new, job, new roles, new jobs, which brings us to the second takeaway. Yes, some jobs will be lost. Goldman Sachs made a prediction last year. They think that AI will replace 300 million full-time jobs. You can guess some of them, like coding. Top AI models can write complicated codes. They're also much faster than humans. Another example is customer service, like call centers or chat support. The new AI models can hold a conversation, so they can definitely troubleshoot your problems. Again, much faster than humans. The CEO of TCS has a dire warning. He says AI could kill Indian call centers in a year. Same with tutors. ChatGPT released a demo yesterday. It showed the AI model teaching mathematics. You can ask questions. You can draw diagrams and figures. Even make question papers. A lot of teachers already use ChatGPT. A professor in Virginia actively encourages her students to do that. She says ChatGPT can be a persona, a debate partner for some, a job recruiter for others. So right now, AI is making teachers more productive, but how long before it takes over the job or diminishes it? And that's the third point. AI could increase inequality. Let me explain how. Consider the coding example. Before AI, you needed humans to write the whole thing. But now ChatGPT can do it. You just need the human to verify it. Do you see the problem here? Coding pays a lot of money, but verifying does not. So AI could drastically reduce wages in some jobs. It can eventually widen the wage gap. And this applies even to countries. Wealthier countries will adapt to AI more quickly. They will have more money. They do have more money, so they can invest a lot more in AI. But poorer countries cannot do that. And this may lead to a technology and wage gap. So to recap, there are three factors at play. Some new jobs being created, a lot of jobs being lost, and a new trigger for financial inequality. Broadly, this is how artificial intelligence will affect the job market. The question is, how can you prepare for it? Well, time is of the essence. AI is moving much faster than expected. So if you're already in the job market, your brief is quite simple. Start using AI tools. Find some way to integrate it. Use it to gain an edge over your peers. But what if you are not in the workforce yet? Then put your thinking cap on. We said that AI will create 97 million new jobs. Find out what they are. The World Economic Forum has listed a few examples like AI trainers, people who make and design these models, or data curators, people who gather data to train these models or ethics officers, people who act as a moral compass for AI models, or even AI content creators, people who explain how everything works. These are all new and emerging jobs. The key is to find and prepare for them. And like I said, do it fast. ChatGPT came out in late 2022. We thought that was revolutionary. But in less than two years, it has gone further ahead. They can identify items in your surroundings, do your shopping for you, conduct interviews for you, even tutor your children. 
So imagine what the next generation will be like. I guess the IMF chief's assessment is quite accurate. AI is like a tsunami heading for the job market. We've got the warning. We can see the big waves. It's now time to prepare for it. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison LaGrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. South Africa goes to the polls on the 29th of May. I will track the election and bring you ground reports. Is it the end of the road for the African National Congress? And will former President Jacob Zuma stage a dramatic comeback? From elections to climate change to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.